Hello there my fellow YouTubers, it's me again, Julio, at your service, trying to help you diagnose a car, hopefully, help you. But uh, today, we have a 2011 Audi A5 2.0 Turbo, uh, it's nice, it's nice a, uh, a quite decent car. Uh, um, uh, today, um, this car came in with a problem of uh, brake light is on on the dash uh, we have to um, let me try to explain you a little things about that light first if you don't know what that means you can look at your manual and usually manual of the vehicle will tell you exactly what to do of course it might tell you see the dealer ship and uh, you know a few arms and a leg will uh, get you get those problem fixed but some will explain you uh, uh, simple details of what it needs uh, at, 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 at this car uh, the brake light uh, message means that you need brake pads um, I probably worn out or it's service indicator per mileage that you know they go overdue and you need to service them even though sometimes it's not even worn out yet but some nowadays have a sensor on it that needs to be replaced every time you replace you know every time you replace your brake pads and some cases cars have a specific procedure when you're replacing pads you gotta look at that first before you try to hey it's just a simple job you know but uh, anyway, so let me try to diagnose, uh, help you diagnose this problem. First, brake light. Find out what the brake light fault is for. Could be for your fluid. It could be, like I said, for your brake pads or for your parking brake. But once you narrow down the description of the light, malfunction, illuminated lamp, once you figure that out, uh, next thing you know is move on to the next step where is the um, uh, specific sensor or component is and you move on to your uh, diagnostic so I plug in the scanner in here just for the sake because you know uh, if you work on a shop and you have access to your scanner it's nice to always scan the vehicle before you go on and move to your next uh, step uh, it just gives you a more idea of what's the condition of the vehicle now I got a multiple codes in here uh, misfire but I'm gonna skip those because that's not the concern always address the concern of your customer so I'm gonna put this car up on the air and we are gonna look at, at those um, brake pads Visual inspection will really help you um, diagnose problems. So, let's look at the brake pads. As you can see, that pads still have a lot of meat. Go to the next one. Oh. Same thing here. So let's look at all four of them. Still good. I hope you can see. I'm trying to point at it. There you go. If you don't know what the brake pad is, uh, let me. help you with that so that is your brake pads that is the friction surface that meets with the rotors and this is just the uh, kind of like a backing plate where, you, where it's bonded um, that's metal so if you hear some grinding metal to metal sound and your rotor 
is really terribly scratched and that means this friction material is totally gone and went down to bare metal steel not so good but now that we have located our brake pads and looked at it and they all look fine the next step to do is go to your sensor I will try to show you the sensor of the brake pads the best I can and then maybe we can both see what's going on with it All right, on this side, we don't have a sensor here. You see, you see that black piece right there? Let me try to, this Audi, that's an electronic parking brake. And so, some cars like this, you really specifically need to do some type of procedure before you, uh, Maybe a use of scanner before you uh, replace those pads because you might get into some problem and you don't want that. You really do not want that. So the way it looks like on the rear of the vehicle, there's no brake pad sensor. Let's get take a look at the front. No brake pad sensor here neither. And you can tell because there should be like a wire sticking out or coming out of the brake pads. As you can see this one have a torn CV boots. Not bad to recommend it. Now in here, oh there it is. This wire is a brake pad sensor. See how it's coming from out of the brake pads. Uh, let's see if you can see that. See, I'm gonna try to look closer. So, I'll help you see things. I don't know if that's the best picture for you. Yeah, but anyhow, kind of hard to make it see right there, that L shape. So, that's your brake pads sensor. And we have to remove the wheel in order for us to see what's going on. But, usually, before you do that, since that you're here, might want to do a little checkup, maybe wiggle the wire. See if it's broken. See it's not broken here. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright fellas. I think we may have found our problem. Alright. I don't know if you can see that, but let me switch. Oh, there's your connector. Ooh. You see that? There should be two wires. And there's only one wire. Where's the other one go? Ah. Found you. The other wire is inside. You see, I can, I can rip this up for you. But, I think we found our problem, guys. This is our problem. There. Oh, 
hard to work with one hand. Not sure if you can see what I'm doing. All right, there's your problem. See that one wire? It should be connected there. So, that broken wire could cause a brake light to turn on. Now what its purpose and uh, how does it work? Usually brake light sensor is a one big loop. I mean not one big loop. I meant it's just a one loop of wire, ground wire, uh, connected to the uh, um, brake light or a module um, to where if if the brake pads inside if the brake pads worn down I think I might have an example for you ah there it is look at that the brake pad with a brake pad sensor so basic common thing see the brake pad sensor goes inside that pads there see there so if this friction material wears down to nothing it's gonna break that little piece that stick now that piece of a stick is grounded to it's just a, it's, it's a common ground and when it touches the surface of the rotor, of course, the whole body of the vehicle is ground or negative when it touches that, and then it'll trigger. Some sensor, it's just with the two wire in it, like this, this is a single wire, the some sensor that has two wires um, have their sensor looped inside, like, like this wire is looped inside the pads to where if the pads worn down and this gets broken to or split or worn down as well if this continuity split up that um, that will trigger the light to come on so there it is uh, we found our problem and uh, I hope on your next project or I hope this helps uh, helps you diagnose a simple problem like that on cars nowadays all right till next time uh, guys and girls uh, those of you who like doing things yourself um, enjoy I hope you enjoy this and uh, please like that's all I'm asking for thank you very much bye bye